Hello everyone. Have you heard of a ship that sank on its maiden voyage and laid under the sea? Does it remind you of Titanic? No, <laughs> this is a warship named Vasa. We visited this place, Vasa Museum, on the third day of our trip in Stockholm. This Vasa Museum is located on the island of Djurgården. It's close to the Grona Lund, so we had to take the ferry to reach over there. And a short walk takes us to the Vasa Museum. You can also reach this place by tram or uh, buses. The entrance price was 150 SEK for adults and uh, children get free entry. The ship was just awe inspiring. You can view it from all the sides as you go through the different levels of the museum. My pictures just don't do justice to it. The boat was so gigantic and looked so intact even after 300 years under the sea. On 10th August 1628, Vasa set sail on her maiden voyage, but unfortunately sank in the Stockholm harbour. The wreck was salvaged in 1961 after almost 333 years under the sea. Vasa Museum is one of the foremost tourist attractions in Stockholm and offers a unique insight into early 17th century Sweden. The reconstructed vessel is almost 98% original with hundreds of carved sculptures. People usually spend around 2-4 to four hours in this museum. Based on your interest, we spend more than 5 hours. There was also a model of the Vasa with, which was like one tenth of its original size. There was also a play area where kids could play and uh, get the real feel of sailing a ship and to know how did they sail a ship like Vasa. You could also climb into a full scale model of an upper gun deck and you could inspect original objects found on board. There are also guided tours and film screenings about Vasa, the making and how it sank and how it has been recovered now. The story of the restoration and preservation of this ship is very impressive, a truly magnificent ship. This is a must visit place if you are in Stockholm. I would say it's worth more than a visit. <laughs> then we visited Globen, world's largest spherical building. This is one of the iconic places in Stockholm. Then we climbed up a small hill. I really don't remember the name of that place, but uh, we could look at the whole city of Stockholm from the top of it. And do you see the globe and looks like a football from this place. The next day we returned back from Stockholm and this is the family who hosted us at Stockholm. They were really the epitome of hospitality I would say. Thanks for watching this video. If you had enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.